Then there's the increase in the job seeker payment. Oh, for God's sake. Look, for some, that might have validity. But how do you explain that there are 508,500 Australians unemployed? 508,500 Australians unemployed, but the job vacancies, as of February this year, totaled 438,500. So we pay the unemployed more while the employer whistles for staff. Nothing changes with Labor. It's tax and spend. Or as the first chairman of the Productivity Commission, Gary Banks, said back in March, we are going backwards on energy, industrial relations, taxation and government spending. And that Australia is losing its ability to implement policies to properly, quote, cope with change to the competitive and support economic growth. None of this will change. While on the one hand, we're talking massive immigration, and on the other, the religious pursuit of net zero carbon dioxide emissions. Remember, Bowen has admitted that to get to 43% emissions reduction by 2030, I mean, I say this over and over again, but cop this, to get there, we'll need 22,500 watt solar panels every day for eight years, 22,000. We'll need 40 seven megawatt turbines every month for eight years, and we need 10,000 kilometres of additional transmission lines. And if that ever happened, you're also going to pay seven billion, seven thousand million dollars on top of that to connect the already failed Snowy Hydro project to the grid. I'm sorry, we're being run by ideological zealots and fools. Ideology first, and the national interest doesn't even run a place. Nothing in this budget will go anywhere near strengthening our economy or delivering what is needed to allow economic sanity to prevail. I say again, the National Economic Suicide Note is being written. The victims, and not the overpaid politicians, the authors of the suicide note, the victims are the luckless and ignored residents of Struggle Street.